Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Serenity Place. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my resale app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links or scan the QR code with your mobile phone and it will take you directly to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So we are over in Cadence today taking a look at a Harmony Homes build. It is a new construction. Again, if you are thinking about buying new, you wanna buy new, you are considering buying new, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go take a look at the models in person because I need to go with you the first time. I need to call on your behalf. Otherwise, you're gonna work directly with the sales associates and they are awesome. I will give them that, but they don't represent you. They represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibilities to the builder. So if you want representation, Give me a call again all my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment and fun fact on new construction you don't pay the realtor commission the builder does so one more reason to give me a call i'm gonna spin around just put up a map of where we are i do love the park hoa here i believe is 85 dollars a month we are over in cadence over in the south east today nice part of town everything is basically brand new right here i'm talking like 2017 or newer Today we are at Harmony Homes. We are looking at unit B. This is 1,376 square feet. Three bed, two and a half bath, two car garage. It is on the far side. Now if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe for future updates and tours coming on in. So just under 1,400 square feet. It's basically one open room down here. So you have kitchen, living, and dining all in one. Let me come all the way over here. Just so you can see everything. Now again, with this builder, what they're doing is basically take it or leave it. They're gonna pick all of the spec, all of the options, all of the countertops, carpet, flooring, cabinetry color, all of that kind of stuff. And if you want it, great. If you don't, they, you can go on for the next one, but you don't get any options. A lot of the builders have kind of gone to that route, but we do have our dining area. Again, there's the front door. I do like the island, it's a nice size. And when you're at the kitchen sink, we have our dishwasher. You're kind of in the middle of everything. I do feel like that TV is a little bit small, but you are right here. Very, very, very open. If we spin around, one thing also about this builder is you are getting the refrigerator, you're getting the washer and the dryer. So not bad when we're talking 362, 740. I don't know if I put that or if I said that earlier, but under 370 and you're getting all of this. We are getting, let's see. I was just in the other one. We are getting soft clothes cabinetry we do have our five burner cooktop i will see it does not vent outside so one thing you are going to want to do is make sure to wash out the vents underneath but not bad as far but not bad again we are getting a lot at this price point let's go ahead come on over and take a look at the pantry so right here we have our pantry and this 100% is not going to look like this. This is slightly upgraded. It's going to be a normal shelf, but gives you an idea of the size. And then we have our powder room. So we have our toilet. We have our pedestal sink. It's actually a really big powder room. You can see how much room's here. I almost wish they pushed the door six inches that way and either made the pantry bigger or just gave us more space down here just because that's a really big powder room unfortunately our two car garage is locked and i can't get in there they use this storage and whatnot but again if you have any questions whatsoever please 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 do not hesitate to reach out to me again all my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment coming on up so which way do we want to go let's go this way so right here we have our laundry room. And again, really big laundry room. It's actually a nice size. You're just gonna get a standard shelf unless they do opt for something like this. Little bit of an upgrade, but you will get the washer and dryer coming on out over here. 
we come into bedroom number one. And I will say the bedroom is kind of on the smaller side. You can see full or twin size bed, nightstand desk. I do like the Romeo and Juliet doors, but it's a little bit on the smaller side for rooms. Again, upgraded closet just a little bit, but pretty standard. Mm. It would be hard to get the desk and a dresser in here, if I'm being completely honest, but not bad. Coming on out, before we check out the bathroom, here we have bedroom number two. Again, twin size bed, big desk, nightstand. I'm just trying to see. If you put a dresser here, it's gonna be tight. So, the rooms are definitely on the smaller side, but again, we are under, what, 370? I do like it. It's just, it feels a little tight. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? Coming on into our shared bathroom. Big, big vanity. Um, I'm going to be honest. I feel like we need another light. There is a light right here. And there is a light right, right, right there. But we need a light in the bathroom. You can already see how dim it is. And there is no window in here, so. Mm. Little complaint, but not big complaint. And then again, we have our shower head, our valve, and our tub filler. It is a fiberglass composite, but I will say I just wish there was another light because this bathroom is huge. You can see how much vanity space we have. But other than that, pretty nice. Coming on in, we have some built-ins and then our primary bedroom. Let me come all the way over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it looks like a queen size bed, two nightstands. I love, 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 love the fact that there is additional can lighting in here. I don't know if you watched my tours at all, but that's one of my biggest complaints is like can lighting. And again, this room probably doesn't need it, but the fact that it has it is awesome. Coming on into the closet, Again, slide upgrade. So normally it'd probably be single bar or double bar and shelf. And then, ooh, they even have a bunch of shoe shelves. So again, you can always call Closet Las Vegas, California Closet, Closet World, all of those kind of things. And then coming on into our bathroom. So double vanity, again, same cabinets as downstairs. And we have our toilet and our shower. All in all, not bad. I just wish those secondary bedrooms were just a tiny, tiny bit bigger. Again, leave a comment down below. What do you think about this place? Again, everything out here is basically new. So kind of a nice area. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.